It's week 15 of the National Football League. We'll see the dynamic Justin Fields. After his last game, now across 3,000 yards for the season. It's the Bears and the Eagles, and it's coming up next. Now the good news is that the winds aren't as violent as they were yesterday in Chicago, but it's still pretty darn cold to be expected, I guess, for December football at Soldier Field. Today we reach week 15, and we've got a good matchup in store between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Chicago Bears. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at the Eagles. Their offense is one that doesn't rely too heavily on just one guy. They like to spread things around as best they can. You're right about that as a diverse unit. And they like to run their offense by what they call game plan, meaning each and every week they study the opponent, they probe its weaknesses, and they move the ball around that way. They emphasize who's going to get it based on what they think they'll accomplish in that game. Other teams, they're a system team. They're going to run what they run, no matter what. I like this style of offense. It suits them well. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Soldier Field. Well, here come the Bears, and at the helm is someone that they have a lot of hopes for leading this franchise. The 11th pick in 2021 out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. Coming out of Ohio State, one of the top prospects in the NFL draft, and it was so big that they moved up in the draft to get him, to make sure that they had him. And, boys, he got the full package. Loves the game. Big-time arm. 4-4 speed. So good. That another quarter. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Avante Maddox. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. Now, for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual-threat quarterback now in his third season, Jalen Hurts. And what he's thinking about right now is first down, let's find a way to make a big play. Because when you get a sudden change situation and that defense has to rush onto the field unexpectedly, you might catch them having a defensive breakdown or not quite prepared. And it was really sudden after the first play picked off. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. And that CD, one heck of a run. He just refused to go down. And that's where determination comes in because he had at least a couple of guys had really good shots at him, but he just said, I don't think so. Speed, power, elusiveness, all on display right there. Look like you, partner, back in your salad days in Evansville. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead it 7-0. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Well, partner, not exactly the way they drew up the start of this one, but a chance to redeem themselves and hit the reset button here on their second possession. And I do like that word that you just used, reset, right? In a lot of ways, it's just shaking off what happened before. Starting fresh, almost like it's your first drive all over again. Go out and put your best foot forward. They'll go option on second down, right side. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Fields now to throw. 
And that is incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. yards that time on the punt and the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and ten. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive as we grind toward the end of the season here and they haven't had the season that they had hoped so let me ask you to play GM where might they look to make some changes. I think when you look into the upcoming draft think hard about them drafting multiple offensive linemen. They've got to get stouter up front and as a GM always tells me Charles, this is a big boy league, and big people always end up winning games for you. It's a second down run with Sanders. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And some space here. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown. drive so they're two for two two touchdowns Charles a great start to this ball game for them and one of the words has really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking they've stacked momentum each time now and not only on offense between those touchdowns defense held forced a punt to get the ball back and they played awfully well in this one both sides playing at optimum level so with the missed PAT in his rear view mirror he goes back out to kick this one off and that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense out there set and ready to go. And they, of course, coming into this one in the midst of a tough losing streak. They did get helped out by the open week last week. And in talking with him, all indications were, Charles, that that was a very helpful break. Yeah, I know a lot of teams, coaches, they hate taking time off in the midst of a losing streak because they think they have to stay on their toes and punch their way out of it. But occasionally, you get that open week, you step back, evaluate what's been going wrong, see what you can put in. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession. As they're looking at a second down and nine to go. On the option right is Fields. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Nice satisfying run up first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Second and five now, Fields. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. A perfect example of the kind of attitude you have to have to play defensive back in the NFL. You want to be the only defender around, and you want them to challenge you. And on that play, he came through. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Oh, the return is Scott. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. And this will be gathered up in the end zone. And that's a defensive touchdown. As the offense went on the field to start their last drive, you know they discussed it in the huddle. Hey, if we put one in the end zone here, we put ourselves in a position to start making a comeback. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And that'll make it 13-7. The scoop and score always an exciting play in football. And we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. 
Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. This offense returns to the field, and the former Penn State star, Miles Sanders, we're going to look at him. A 1,000-yard campaign in his sights, Charles, but needs a little bit of a kick here down the stretch to reach it. And sometimes at this stage of the season, you're looking for that extra goal, right, that extra motivation to accomplish what you want, not just as a team but as individuals. He's got to stretch a little bit to get there. That might be what they're talking about during the practice sessions in their meetings. Hey, we can still get this done. Let's go ahead and feed him the ball. And the offensive line, I'm sure they're well aware of where he stands as well. They are, and I think for them, it would be an even better accomplishment to get there now because it seems like a little bit of a reach. From the gun, it's Hurts. That swung out wide to Sanders. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And they bring this one back. A full return for the Bears touchdown. Even the great ones, some of the best, they're not immune to the fumble. And here it really hurts them. If the ball gets away from any runner's body, that's when the defense pokes at it, swipes at it, swats at it, and finds a way to create a big play for themselves. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. Boston Scott. That was a special return, and it happened because he's a special returner. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them I was to do that? Ask, maybe that? They, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film? Was it to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hold, and someone kicking the ball through the post. Now a first down throw, Fields. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. To throw once more on second and ten. Fields. Uh, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Kaiser White, the former safety, gets the sack. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Scott to return it. And he loses the football a second time. Inside the 20. And he brings it back. Can you believe it? An offensive disaster on the final play of the first half. They just had to hold on to the ball. Now the point after try for Santos. And the lead is now two. So we come upon half. Well, we're in the latter stages of this season. Everybody's getting antsy, so antsy that we're going to skip the halftime and get ready for the third quarter. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. Our Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. Takes it at the seven. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin this third quarter. But Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, 
How about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. And yeah, this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. Play action. Here's Hurts. And that will be incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage. Tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball down. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. And this is caught. Well, following the punt return here, there's someone shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. They go play action with Hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Eagles have retaken a third quarter lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that. For, oh, and now they're going to fake it. And this is caught out in the left flat. And that one goes virtually nowhere. Tried to fake extra point, but nothing comes of it. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. And a lot of talent on this Eagle defense, and you've seen it on these last two plays. Both both losses. Third and long. It's Fields. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Had to pass there. Third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. punt of 38 yards officially and it will be Eagles football first of 10. Eagles offense and A.J. Brown headed back out there creeping up on a thousand could get there on this drive so a challenge for him to do that but also defensively maybe a challenge for them to not allow that. And that means probably kicking even more coverages to his side. And what that really means is wherever he lines up, you will have a cornerback over in his area. Now instead of blitzing your linebacker, drop him into coverage. Instead of the safety dropping into regular coverage, that safety moves into that area to try to discourage a quarterback from going to him. That means everyone else, when your routes, you've got an opportunity to catch passes now too. Yeah, a little bit of a cat and mouse game. And this is caught. It's Brown. The 30, 10, touchdown, Eagles. A.J. Brown, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Eagles will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Chicago offense set to get started. 
See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do this thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Fields. And that is incomplete. I would dare say that these guys would have liked to have given their defense a little bit more rest since they gave up a touchdown their last time out. But alas, my man, that's not going to happen. Yep, they're going to have to grab those helmets, get right back out there. Here comes the Bears punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Soldier Field. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Man open left side is Brown. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes. And put touchdown! A.J. Brown, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Eagles look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. And he's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D. And, well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense, and he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past we the 40-yard line. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, but well, that's a costly mishit, and now you put your team in a bad spot. Fields throw there, complete to Mooney. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. And the Eagles with a dime look. Six DBs on third down. Here's Fields. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. 
results in the fourth down. Fourth down. Fields has to have this one. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Wide receiver A.J. Brown. You see he and the rest of his mates returning to the field here. Oh, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him? Bring him over to our team so we don't cover. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Eagles. A.J. Brown. 60 yards, and the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. But not much defensive resistance on that drive, and really, Charles, the way this offense has been humming, they haven't faced much defensive resistance the entire game. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that one team, their defense did not wake up and make it to the stadium for this one. There may be some major changes on that side of the ball when we see them the next time out. Elliott on for the extra point. And that will bump the lead up to 26. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see. Just one play resulting in the touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. On first down, Fields. And his throw is incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Now Fields over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Field throwing again. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 45-yard line. Back to throw, Fields. Flushed out right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Holding offense. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. That penalty takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no. No, not at all. From the 50, here's Fields. Under pressure, they got him again. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes it.
takes it in for the score on the game's final play, so it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little lanyard, yeah, a little extra on top. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder what's their motivation, because if it's me, I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit, but for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not in their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is, you stop us. We're not supposed to pull back ourselves. Now, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for the Eagles, the win gets them to 5-9 and nine now on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Big D to take on the Cowboys. Meanwhile, for Chicago, they've plummeted now to 3-11. and 11, And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Buffalo Bills.